Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GPTV. I'm right on my hands is Avoid Arrivals number five. Uh, the story is by Robert Kirkman, art by Lorenzo De Felici. Patricio Del Pesci is the colorist. Russ Wooten is the letter. All right, so Void Rivals has been interesting in that the first issue kicked off the Energon universe. It was our first glimpse at what was coming in a shared universe that involves not just Void Rivals, but Transformers and G.I. Joe. Every issue of Void Rivals has been kind of a little guest starish issue uh, where you kind of wondered who is the character that's going to pop up and how are they going to kind of tie into the story. Uh, for the most part, none of it has really made much sense. Uh, the only exception really kind of being the, the Skeksoid uh, in issues two and three kind of made sense uh, and wasn't just like a weird cameo. But beyond that, like, it was kind of getting old. Not going to lie. I, I was kind of not enjoying it. I, I'd rather Void Rivals be Void Rivals, and then you can have hints and teases towards the greater universe at this point. Well, it looks like we're finally starting to kind of get that as various plot points are coming together uh, about uh, what has happened. Uh, but the story is, is two rival factions, uh, they both went after a... Um, uh, much needed supplies with uh, an accident happening and their two warriors having to work together to get back and survive. Of course, that's not going to go the way, um, you know, the way you think. Uh, so they're now captured. They're in jail. And the question is, like, where does it all go from there? Uh, we've learned that there's more conspiracies. There's this kind of... Well, in this issue, we've, we've learned there's a lot more going on than just uh, two rival nations. Uh, and, and this is kind of what more of what I've been hoping for. I mean, it, it just has taken a while to get going, but it feels like the comic is finally starting to get going, getting good. Um, it's been good. Let's rephrase that. Like, it's been good up to this point. I want something really interesting and standing on alone, uh, on its own, and not just feeling like a backdoor plot type thing. Like, the the first issue, the second issue, the third issue, all felt like it was just here to launch Transformers. I want a series that stands on its own, and it feels like Void Rivals number five is finally starting to get to that point, which is kind of cool. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing where it goes. Um, I really think there's a lot of potential of the series to explore, we'll say, the Transformers universe, the sci-fi aspect of it, and see more aliens out there uh, that might have been teased or hinted at or we saw in one episode or something like that and, uh, and really show that the Transformers world was more than just... Ross, there, there was more to meet the eye. Like, there's more that meets the eye. I think that's that would be the great uh, mantra of Void Rivals I'm hoping for. Um, so I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that aspect, and, and I kind of, I feel like this is the issue we're kind of starting to see that a little bit. Um, so overall, like, I'm liking the direction. I'm really, really liking the direction. Up to this point, I was kind of like a, it's interesting, but it, it's more interesting to see, like, how you market and launch a comic universe that's really well known um, than the story itself. Uh, the art, too, I think is really intriguing when you kind of think about where it stands. So you've got the of course, organics of G.I. Joe, you've kind of got the robotics of Transformers, and this kind of has a cold, brutal aspect to it. Um, lots of grays, lots of concrete, like it's just, I think uh, brutal, I believe, is the right architecture term. Um, it's, it's, it's intriguing because of that. So you really have like three different series within this one universe, each with their own style. And I think that's actually really interesting and is kind of standing out more as the series is going on. You're kind of thinking about it. So I, I feel like the, the series is finally kind of getting going. There's a lot of interesting stuff in this uh, issue. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. We're not re we're not re we doing this. Um, we're doing it live. We do one take. Um, so yeah, this is uh, it's it's, it's getting interesting. Let's go with that. I'm looking forward to seeing how this this arc ends. Uh, you can go get it. It's out now in shops. We got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It'll tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we get a small percentage, and by doing that, you'll support our site. So thank you. And speaking of support, I want to thank you all for watching. If you're into comics, check us out every day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mast uh, Mastodon, Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics. Keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.